Now the string is in place and I need to check whether the height is also correct. There is only half a centimeter beneath the string and the adjacent paving, so I'll go a little lower. This is to ensure that proper drainage will take place. I can always put the block back in again later. This definitely puts me on the safe side and ensures that the water will flow in properly. The string is now at the correct height and in the right direction. And we have also determined the installation position. I like to use the Recifix Pro channel because it is extremely stable and light, which makes my life easier because I'll have to pick it up, install and remove this complicated system of connections several times. Everything must be connected temporarily and I'll probably have to pick it up at least five times. Another major advantage is that it is 16 centimeters wide and will be an exact fit for the channel of blocks that I have installed here and I can fit it without having to cut or snap anything off. We can now insert the box here, temporarily on sand. We need a little more sand because this is where it's gonna sit. So now I put sand into the area where the trash box is going to be installed, so that I can temporarily position it. We can still move it forwards and backwards a little. The further back it is, the better it'll be. I can simply remove the sand afterwards and replace it with concrete but in order to position the pipe exactly where I want it, it is useful to have the trash box in the right position beforehand. I've now measured the height of the trash box and the distance from the string to the sand, and I'm now checking whether it will fit. Yes, it will. The height is correct, this is where it will sit afterwards. I will knock it in with the hammer and it will then work. Then I will look at how to make the PVC connections and what to do with the bands and particularly the branches connecting them properly with the many small parts that I have to cut to the correct size will also be tricky. It's important for the sockets of the branches to be on top at this stage. One pipe should always slide into the other so that the flow of water is not impeded. I'll take the rubber seals out for the time being because I'm only laying the system temporarily in order to see where everything must go. This means that the first branch must go here and the band must be connected here. The next branch would have to go there in order to accommodate this. Okay, but one branch is still missing. It has to be laid here between them. And then I have to measure, cut and fit the pieces. The temporary pipe installation is complete. The pipe has been temporarily laid in sand so that all of the connections could be made and the pipes cut to the right lengths. Now comes the next step, which involves making the openings and the trash boxes with the drill. We have made the connection here temporarily, meaning that we have only put it loosely in place and the trash box can be taken out again. We will then make the opening with the drill bit and position the channel in this direction. It only takes a second. The trickiest things are the items that are underground, because they are no longer visible afterwards. The connection has been made. We have now cut the opening. Of course, we could have made them here or at the other side, whichever way was best. And with Recifix Pro we can even go directly to the channel, from below, from the side if necessary or above the end caps as is the case with shallow installation depths and there we have the pre-shaped cut out. Now we can continue constructing the channel. Now the final installation of the connecting pipes takes place. The rubber seal must be correctly inserted all the way round, otherwise it won't work. A guide is even provided for doing this. And we have laid out our PVC pipes so that each one can now be inserted into the other. In order to minimize the amount of mess, the lubricant is applied around the outside and spread around a little. The more, the merrier. How do I work out whether it's far enough in and whether it's properly fitted? There are two options. Of course, I can note how far it has to be pushed in and I could make a mark at the other side. I will use the mark straight away because it's extremely important, which is not a difficulty with this small piece. As you can see, it's extremely tight. I will use the spade, Position it here at the bottom at an angle and lift carefully. Now, 
The bottom channel pipe is in place. Now that it has started to rain, we can see immediately whether the water actually drains. We still don't have a concrete base. In goes some concrete. Now we need to level it out to the correct height with a trowel. I've already measured it approximately. Too much is better than not enough. 46, that's about right. Level out with a trowel, adjust the height a little and the best thing is that the trash box isn't very heavy, meaning that I can position it three or four times. That's not so bad. Now we have the right height. Now we fill in with concrete at both sides. The concrete provides extra stability. Always at both sides. Now we'll compress it a little at the bottom. Just align it a couple of times. Perfect. 